Welcome to Beyond Press channel. Hello. And you read the title. So we are going to crash one of these drones to that wall at full speed. And we got the idea when we bought this. This is Phantom 4 Pro. It's really fancy and expensive drone. And this is Phantom 3 standard. It's quite similar. Cheaper camera and no sensors, and it's just a bit slower. But it was really cheap. This is like, I think this is out of production now, but we managed to find one. It was around 400 euros. So not that bad for one viral video. <laughs> <laughs> and there is still meaning in all of this, because we are really interested what happens if you accidentally crashed that expensive thing and I'm quite sure many other people are also so we are going to now find out that so we are not coming to new tech racks so, so no. don't worry there is always some meaning in our videos in some weird way <laughs> yeah but I think we are going to now set up all the cameras yeah, yeah let's see So everything is now ready and I spot my target Fuck I have to go here Yep And here we go It survived quite well. Let's go have a look. Yeah, the camera is gone. Propellers are gone. But otherwise it looks quite good. The frame is good. Yeah. Here is the camera. I think I hit quite close to the... It's like... Like there. And this looks also quite good. And that one is still there and yeah, I think I'm going to save the slow motion. It was too exciting. And then we are going to check the aircraft a bit better. And here you see the damage that the prone left the wall. So Nothing crazy, but I think that still is going to hurt quite bad if it's your face or something like that. So these are quite dangerous machines if you are flying against stuff with them. So here is the end result of the whole thing. Three of the propellers is broken, but all the motor spins and the on the high speed you can see that the all the propellers are still running after it's falling from the wall and when it was ground the battery was loose so but I think it was 
just when it hit the ground when the battery came loose. But then the camera, the camera holder piece right here, it's broken and the cables are loose from the camera. But the camera and gimbal itself, this looks, I cannot see any other problem than those. So I think I'm going to 3D print new part for this and then that's the camera back to the back to the thing and this should be probably all, also quite good. Yeah but now we are going to just change the propellers. This is really tight. And I was relying on the camera picture when aiming to the wall and the Come, image transfer on this machine isn't perfect. So I missed our GoPro that was our target on the wall. But I managed to hit the wall and we still was inside of the slow motion camera frame. So I think I did quite good hit. Yeah. And hey, our <laughs> cat is eating our <laughs> You can eat this. <laughs> yeah, this is for you. Eat it. <laughs> yeah, and here you can see yellow paint there. So yellow. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the wall paint. Yeah. But. Even when this survived this well, I think we are not going to try <laughs> with our Phantom 4. And we had also some problems with the uh, temperature. Here is about maybe minus 5 or something like that. And this machine didn't want to fly first, but we warmed it up inside. Yeah, and now it's moment of the truth. It powers up. Yep. Uh oh. And then I just. Yeah, it shows it here also. No camera view. But I think this is. This is going to need the camera too. I think there is, was some kind of way to start this. It might be too cold because it has been quite a while. Yeah. And I have to read the instruction how you start the engines without the phone. I think it was something like that or this. But we are going to heat up the battery because it won't connect to phone for some reason. But we are going to place the battery inside and let it warm and then try again. Will it, will it fly? Because I think it's not going to need the phone, just this and that should be enough. Yeah. But we check that also from the internet. <laughs> yeah, so if you are uh, seeing this, then this didn't work out even after like 12 hours at indoors. And no, I think there isn't like any like spare parts inside that are free to move. And all the motors work, it just won't fly for some reason. But if 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 there is somebody who is fixing this like a hobby or some company that repairs this, please contact us and let's see what is wrong, wrong with this. I don't know shit about this, <laughs> as you probably know at this moment of the video. Yeah, but I think it was surprisingly tough machine. Yeah. I, I was like accepting like frame to break and stuff like that, but only the camera and even with the camera it's just one like plastic piece that you can make new one. So very tough thing and let's hope that this was only copter crash <laughs> <laughs> that we are going to film. So we are back at home and it has been a couple of days and this thing still doesn't fly. But these flights make this like signal and according to internet this should like tell something what is wrong with the thing. 
So if you know about these things, you can suggest what should I do with the drone on the comments. Yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.